you off another one. there using our paint Cosmo to triple laminate we'll go over what makes this bait unique and interesting I'm gonna let this red fish go he's a little bit bigger than my likings but a nice fish whenever you let these reds go you just head first that shoots the water down in through their gills help survive them and when we're fishing right now the old trusty trussle, no secret here. We'll go over some tips and techniques on fishing this bridge and the conditions we have today. Look how much, look how hard that fish choked down at 3x matrix. All right, finally got it out again on that 3x matrix shed. Now the red, we're trying to target trout right now, but the reds are getting in the way. But we've already yielded a few trout in between these reds, but we're gonna get back on there. We're gonna find some trout. That's what we're looking for right there, baby. Pump pups. Pump pups. Get them. Get them. That's what we're looking for right there. So right now we're in the middle of the spring run. Very well known place to fish in your months of March, April, May. Right here on the bridges. This is the trestle. We have three bridges here that uh, all can be productive. And as you can see, if you look down the bridge, let me turn the boat so you can see, there's no boats out here. And I must have not got the memo that we had a west wind today. And that's what we're doing. We're, this is kind of adverse conditions. It's not, a, it's not a ton of wind, but when it comes from the west, the lake's almost like 60 miles long from here all the way to Manshack. 
so that west wind it just builds up ground swell waves and it makes it pretty complicated and a lot of anglers around here know to stay off the water when they're calling for a west wind the good news is there's no boats out here pressuring these fish so we got the bridge to ourselves. i'd rather fish adverse conditions and be one of the few boats out here rather than fish perfect conditions and have boats all over the place getting in your way because they can really shut the fish down but another beautiful trout for the box let's get some more all right well with this big west wind we got right now it's also creating a pretty hard falling tide you know a lot of times when we're out here on the bridge we like to try both sides of the bridge and see which one's more effective but whenever you have a west wind like this the west side of the bridge is just going to almost be unfishable. It's a lot more choppy over there. The bridge actually does a decent job of breaking, you know, breaking some of that wave action down. So it's right on the borderline of being too choppy out here. And whenever what happens is when you have the west wind and a falling tide, it makes it harder on the trolling motor to keep up and keep you you know your boat position in a good area but you know with this high chop another good tip is to make sure you got your trolling motor head all the way down that way the propeller's not coming out the water and you can hold the boat close to the bridge and with this harder tide you don't really need to pop the lure all that much as the current's going to be moving it around for you so just little small pops like this and then as always just holding keeping contact with the bottom that is the key now we've been having a really high river all winter into the early spring now that we're in the spring the river's finally came down that's the pearl river that i'm speaking of and now that the entire now that that's happened the entire lake's starting to get clean and these speckled trout are starting to show up and there's surprisingly a decent amount of redfish in here also crushing a trout today. Whoa, why did zip them? But the ones we're catching are very, very nice. Solid 17, 18 inch average. And we've had to do a lot of moving up and down the bridge today. Uh, we've done hit four or five spots to just try to stay on a bite here. This has been a typical trussle grind. This, these bridges are very well known for making a lot of casts for a handful of fish. You're really not gonna limit out here too often but when the fish are spread out like this but we're only catching a few here and there and we're having to move a lot that's when those trollers really do well with that lead core line and you'll see them little skiffs going back and forth on this bridge uh trolling and that's you know if that was really my thing that's what we'd be doing today maybe if it wasn't quite so choppy i'd be doing that also but that's very effective too we got plenty of videos on doing that so check those out too but another nice trout for the box several saltwater cats today and we let those go but these are great eating we got some friends and family coming over for the weekend so this guy is coming home with us this is some good eating right here there she is there she is there she is Well, that's what we caught her on. Again, the old 3X Matrix, new bait. It's in a different uh, packaging. Let me show you the packaging, just in case you see it at your local retailer. It's in a purple bag. Awesome bait, we got three colors in this, and this triple laminate, what it is, is there's three colors on one lure. That's what a, the 3X stands for. So this is a pink, a gold, and a glow belly 
Awesome. Great fish right here to end the day on. That west wind's starting to build a little bit more. We've made a nice little show. We've caught several trout. We caught quite a few redfish. Christy's been using this right here. This is our little uh, twin, double twin tail shrimp here in a shrimp creole color. She caught a couple reds on that. That's a great little bait there. I've been using a 3X all day. And we put a nice box together of some nice trout and some nice reds. Make sure to subscribe to the monthly bait box. Get both of these items in your bait box. We also were using 3 8 ounce and half ounce um, golden eye screw lock jig heads. That'll be in your monthly bait box too. And make sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Check out all our all of our videos, fishing the trestle. We've been doing this for 10, 15 years. There's more videos than I can count on fishing these bridges out here. Come out here and enjoy this spring run.